and Mason Hansen on the Wapentalk. Talk. Do you have any nicknames on the team? Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, I've had a few over the years. Um, it seems like there's one new one every single year. Um, and this year it's Masonic. Masonic. Um, that one kind of came out of the blue. I think it was our volunteer assistant, um, Bruce Mansonhing Sr. Okay. He just said it in practice one day. He was like, Masonic, and then it stuck. What are some of the other ones you've got? Um, I don't. I don't know if I want to repeat some of them, <laughs> okay, but we'll uh, on the court. there's a lot, yeah. Okay. Mostly from the guys, but we've had a couple, like they call me Mason Kook. Mason I don't know where Kook. that one came from. And then they always call me Manson because it's really easy to mix up my last, last Mason name. Hansen. Yeah. You're right, that is kind of confusing. So if you say it quickly, it you know, becomes Manson. Mason Hansen, Manson. Your hair oh, looks nice. Thank you. <laughs> but I've heard that the guys on the team maybe like to roast you a little bit about it. It's little always bit. in like perfect form on the court, maybe? Yeah, so uh, that's in our culture. We like to kind of roast each other. Okay. So it's understandable, but I think, yeah, it just kind of stays the same. And so, like, it's lucky. I, yeah, it's I lucky. wish mine did. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's funny. Like, when I start the match, it'll probably look the same as when it ends. Do you have a hair routine that you like to keep up? <laughs> How often are you getting it, getting um, it trimmed? I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Standard. Just genetically blessed? I guess, so thank you to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> tennis, why yes. the sport? Um, I've always loved tennis because it's individual and team. Yeah. And that's the great thing about college tennis. Um, I actually, tennis wasn't my first sport mm -hmm. um, in high school. I was a basketball player and baseball player. Yeah. Um, and tennis just kinda, you know, crept up and I started to really like it and then decided to go with it full time. And you actually didn't start playing tennis on the university's program. Correct. You started in a club team. Correct. So tell us about kind of that process and how you ended up now where you are in your career. Man, okay, yeah, that's a long story. I'll try to summarize it. Um, so yeah, I came here. Um, I wasn't recruited or anything. I came to UCI strictly for academics, mm -hmm. um, but I knew I wanted to try to play, so I tried to talk to the coaches, talk to the players at the time, um, and there was just, there was no room on the roster for me because to be honest, I probably wasn't good enough, but I wanted to stick with it, so I joined the local racket club, mm -hmm. I joined the club team, um, and I started working, giving some hit, uh, lessons with the, uh, the women's assistant coach at the time. Yeah. And so through him, I kind of got to know the women's team uh, back when I was a sophomore, and then um, I started hitting with them every day, kind of as a training partner, hitting partner. Um, and then, so after my sophomore year, Coach Colonel Saunders, mm -hmm. he, uh, he came to me and he was like, hey, do you want to try out for the team and see if you can practice with us? And I was like, sure, <laughs> let's do it. That's awesome. I never really thought about it. I'd already been here for two years and kind of gave up on that, but it was, it was a good opportunity. That's so cool. So summarize like now your success that you've had. You guys are, I think, three matches left on the season. Yeah. How are you feeling just about singles performance, doubles? Where are you at? Um, good, I, I feel good. Um, I'm kind of bummed that this is my last year because yeah. uh, every day I feel like I'm, I'm playing better and getting better and it's just it's a blessing. You have other opportunities now for you. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your studies. Um, so right now I'm in a master's program um, and it's actually in the business school so it's a master's of science in business analytics. That's great. Um, and so it's a one-year program which was a huge plus for me. Uh -huh. So I had my last year of eligibility for tennis and I had um, this one-year program for the masters and mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be done after this. So then what's next? What's next is the next Not chapter of my spot. life. I know, this is the pressing question at this age. Yeah, what's next? I would also like to know the answer. Okay. Um, I'm definitely probably going to look for a job. Okay. That's that's my goal. From a tennis player, we got to know about the goats. Okay. <laughs> Who is it? My goat is Roger Federer. Okay. Federer Why? is the goat in my opinion, not only because of his you know, success on the court, mm -hmm. but just, he's such a classy guy and, and just success um, in, on the tour, making friends. Roger Federer, you know, he has the one hand backhand. Yeah. Um, and I have a one hand backhand as well, so that, that probably plays into it a lot. It's nice. just, it's beautiful to watch and I try to emulate it as much as I can. Well, just as you wrap the season up, what are your personal yeah. goals? Um, I mean, my personal goal is to leave everything on the court, um, especially as we come into the Big West uh, Conference Tournament because we have a real shot at, uh, at winning it this year. And if we win it this year, we can go to the NCAAs. And, Definitely. Um, and that's, that's the ultimate goal. Well, Manson, thank you so much for coming on the walk and talking. Good luck to you guys the rest yes. of the season. Thank you.